गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस पीरियड या अगोदर पीरियड मधे अपन फ्लावर का है पाले है फ्लावर इज हाईली कंडेन्स्ड एंड मॉडिफाइड शूट ऑफ द थैलेमस शूट च एक मॉडिफाइड पार्ट मजे अपने थैलेमस हा पार्ट मिलते तो। थैलेमस मधे अपने का ही नोड्स आ इंटरनोड्स ये मिलते मनु आज पीरियड मधे अपने एक नवीन फील्ड बढ़ाए दैट इज कॉल्ड एज इन्सर्शन ऑफ फ्लोरल होल्स मीन्स वॉट द ओवर इज लोकेटेड ऑन द थैलेमस वी नो दैट द थैलेमस इज हाईली मॉडिफाइड पार्ट सो वेर इज द लोकेशन ऑफ ओवरी एंड वेर आर द अदर पार्ट्स दैट इज द कैलिक्स करोला एंड्रोसियम दे आर सिचुएटेड और प्रेजेंट नैचुरली दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द इन्सर्शन ऑफ फ्लोर फोर सो इन द टिपिकल फ्लावर थैलेमस हैज फोर नोड्स एंड थ्री इंटर नोड्स आर दे सो नोड्स आर हाउ मेनी फोर दीज आर कॉम्पैक्टली अरेज फोर नोड्स एंड थ्री इंटर नोड्स दे आर प्रेजेंट एंड स्लोप ऑफ द थैलेमस डिसाइड्स द इंसर्शन ऑफ फ्लोरल फोर सो द स्लोप इज ऑफ थैलेमस इज इम्पॉर्टंट वी नो दैट ऑन द थैलेमस दीज आर नोड्स एंड कॉम्पैक्टली अरेज इंटर नोड्स दे आर प्रेजेंट एंड द पोजिशन इज पोजिशन ऑफ ओवरी हाउ इज लोकेटेड देर द इन्सर्शन ऑफ लोअर इज फर्दर क्लासिफाइड सो वी नो दैट सी दैट देर आर थ्री टाइप्स द पोजिशन एंड अरेजमेंट ऑफ रेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ द फ्लोर लिव्स द ऑन द थैलेमस इट इज कॉल्ड एज इन्सर्शन ऑफ फ्लोर होल्स एंड वी नो दैट थैलेमस इज इट हैज फोर कॉम्पैक्टली अरेज नोड्स एंड थ्री इंटर नोड्स दे आर प्रेजेंट एंड वेन एवर देर आर फोर नोड्स एंड थ्री इंटर नोड्स द फ्लावर पार्ट दे आर कॉल्ड एज फ्लोर लिव्स दे आर अरेज इन सर्कुलर मैन so they are called floral holes and they are in circular now the insertion of floral hole is related that how is where is the position of ovary and remaining floral holes where they are located that is called as the insertion of floral holes now there are three types according to the position of the ovary now see here hypogyne these are all greek words hypo means below gyne means gynoecium ovary is present at the top of the thalamus ovary is present at top of the thalamus and remaining part they are present at the lower side which remaining part calyx corolla adrosium they are at the lower side so this type of ovary is called as hypogyne the flower is called as hypogynous flower now see here what is the condition conical thallus is present ovary is present at the top position and this type of ovary when the ovary is present at upper on side then this type of ovary is called as superior ovary ovary is called superior ovary and it is written in the floral formula that is capital z and underlined by a line so it is called as the superior ovary there are some examples they are brinjal jala apan vangi asu manto then mustard jala apan mohan asu manto then chanarus jaswand these are the examples of the hypogyny that is the condition hypogyny when ovary is present at the top of the thallus remaining floral parts they are present at the lower side the ovary is called as superior ovary and remaining parts they are present at the lower side the position of thallus is conical type so this is the first type examples are brinjal mustard and chana rose now there is another type called as perigynous this is also a greek word peri means surrounding gynous means gynous 
when the in cup shape or saucer shape cup kiwa basi cha akara cha thalamus cha mude ovary situated aste ani tyacha sabotani jeva phula che part asta then it is called as the perigynous type of flower ovary situated in the cup shaped or saucer shaped thalamus and remaining parts are in circling grid here you will the calyx then corolla then the adocean they are in surrounding with the ovary the condition is called as perigynous condition there is a flower is perigynous and perigyny is the name of that condition flower is perigynous here the thalamus is cup shaped ovary and other parts occupy that the same position ovary is half superior half inferior how is in hypogyny ovary is superior top position here ovary is at intermediate position half superior half inferior it is denoted by capital z and a dash like structure or line that is called as the that is denoted in the floral formula ovary is half superior and half inferior example rose pea plant and the bean ghevda gulab watana and ghevde cha phula madhi ya prakar che argument aplyala milte now there is the third type called as epigyny and the flower is called as epigynous type so we will find that ovary is completely enclosed in the thalamus here thalamus is total cup shaped and ovary is situated in it ovary is completely enclosed in the thalamus and the remaining part they are the calyx corolla and adocean they are present in above side so this condition is called as the epigynous type of condition now we know that what is the epigyny epi means above above what above the ovary what are present the floral whorls they are present here ovary is completely enclosed in the thalamus where is ovary situated it is completely enclosed in the thalamus see here this is the condition related with the bisexual flower what is the bisexual flower when the flower consisting of androsium and anosium androsium is male reproductive part anosium is the female reproductive part we know that there are four types of parts present in the flower one are accessory another are essential accessory means they are not useful in the sexual reproduction essential means without them there is no possibility of the uh, sexual reproduction so male part is androsium name of that part is called as that is the stamen this one this is the male reproductive part this one is the female reproductive part this both are essential floral parts essential means they are avashyak as hai so here according to position of the ovary their insertion of floral whorl is given when ovary is position of ovary is important in the first case now before of it we know that thalamus has typical flowers four nodes three inter nodes and on these nodes in circular manner floral leaves are arranged so they are called as the oral so we know that the slope of the thalamus shows insertion of floral whorl it is uh, conical it is called as hypogyny ovary is situated at the top remaining flower parts at the lower side now the ovary is called as superior denoted by capital z and underlined by a line so it is superior ovary it is shown in the floral formula like z and there is underlined there are certain example brinjal mustard and chana rose second is the we can say perigyny the flower is called as perigynous peri means surrounding in the cup shaped structure or saucer shaped structure ovary is present and it is uh, in circ in circle at the same position where is the ovary the remaining part they are in circling or the thalamus they are the calyx corolla 
androsium. So here ovary is half superior, half inferior. Examples are rose, pea, and bee plant. And it is denoted by capital Z and a dash. That is the half superior, half inferior. Third type of type is epigynous. Epi means above. Epigynous. Here in the cusp, cup shaped structure, ovary is completely uh, situated uh, or enclosed on the thalamus. And the remaining part, they are the calyx, corolla, and also in the upper side. At the above side, it is called as the epigyne. The flower is called as epigynous type. The ovary is said as inferior. It is denoted by capital Z. And upper side, one small line is there. It is called as the inferior ovary. Some examples are sunflower and the gava. So, according to the insertion of the floral whorls, there are three types that is the hypogyne, perigyne, epigyne. The flowers are hypogynous, perigynous, and epigynous type. Thank you.